Hello, and welcome to BizRun. This video will show you how a person can designate a delegate to approve requests and or complete tasks for transactions on their behalf. This delegation can be thought of as reassigning or rerouting the responsibilities of approving requests and completing tasks and can be done on a temporary or permanent basis depending on your specific needs in BizRun. For this demonstration, we have four characters in play in this fictional company. Arista is a system administrator. Nancy is a supervisor of a small department. Sly reports to Nancy and is an initiator of a transaction. Callie will be chosen as Nancy's delegate. The case for this demonstration is Nancy has plans to take some time off and would like to delegate one of her peers the responsibility of approving any time off requests and completing tasks associated with those requests while she's out. The workflow settings for request time off require only one level of supervisors to approve. The task settings for request time off require only one task to be completed by the supervisor of the target or person taking the time off. Depending on your organization's needs, Workflow and task settings may differ by transaction. Some may only require approval. Some may only require tasks to be completed, while others may require both, just like our case for this demonstration. To start off the demonstration, we're logged in as Arista, a system administrator. And as a sysadmin, she can designate a workflow and task delegate to anyone in the organization by going to the person's profile position gear next to the person's title, then workflow and task delegation, then click add new. From here, you can delegate the workflow and task responsibilities of any transaction to anyone in the organization. Click this dropdown for workflow to select the transaction. As you can see, all the ones available are listed here. For the delegate field, you will need to type in the name of the person who you will designate as the delegate. Again, anyone can be designated or assigned regardless of what roles and or level in the organization they are in. A couple things to note here are, each workflow or transaction can have a different delegate designated. In other words, not all workflows need to be assigned to the same person. However, only one delegate can be designated for each workflow. In other words, you cannot have more than one delegate for any one particular workflow. I'm going to X out of this so I can demonstrate that not only a system administrator has the ability to designate a delegate for someone, but a person can also designate a delegate for themselves. So now logged in as Nancy, Sly Supervisor, we can designate a workflow and task delegate for ourselves by going to our profile, position gear, then workflow and task delegation. Then click add new. From here, we can delegate the workflow and task responsibilities that we may have for any transaction to anyone in the organization. As mentioned earlier, the case we are demonstrating is for the request time off transaction. So we as Nancy will need to click this drop down for workflow to select the request time off transaction. For the delegate field, we will type in Callie's name to designate her as Nancy's delegate. Again, anyone can be designated or assigned here. And finally, click Submit. Consequently, after Nancy clicks Submit, Callie will receive an email notification from BizRun letting her know that she will be handling any time off requests for Nancy. Now that the workflow and task delegation is set for Nancy, any requests for time off that she is responsible for from this point on will be delegated, reassigned, or rerouted to Callie. To see this work, we're going to log in as Sly and request time off. Logged in as Sly, as usual to request time off, we will go to our profile, person gear, and request time off. Nothing changes for the initiator. If you recall, 
This transaction requires approval from only one level of supervisor and only one task to be completed by the supervisor. Notice here, listed next to the approvers is Kelly, not Nancy. If we click the task button, it would list the task that is typically assigned to the targets or SLY supervisor, in this case Nancy, but now will be assigned to Kelly since she is Nancy's delegate for this transaction. Let's go ahead and click Submit to see this through. From here, let's log in as Nancy to see that nothing was sent over to her active pane for this request time off transaction from Sly. As you can see, her active pane is empty. Nothing from Sly's time off request is here. Now, let's go to Callie's active pane. As you can see, her active pane does show the request for time off item from Sly. Simultaneously, she also got the notification of the request via email. So, Kelly now has the responsibility and ability to approve or reject the request just like Nancy would. Let's go ahead and approve this request. For more information on approving a request or transaction, please check out our video called Workflow. Now that the workflow was approved, tasks will be distributed. If we go, again, in Callie's active pane, we see the time off item from Sly. However, this time, we see that one task associated with this request is now assigned to Callie, again, since she is Nancy's delegate for this transaction. Once Kelly completes the task and marks it as done, Sly's request time off transaction will be complete and he will be notified accordingly. For more information on completing tasks, please check out our video called Tasks. Intro to To-Do Tasks. Here are a few things to take note of for this feature. If the workflow and task delegation is to be set on a temporary basis, then the setting must be deleted after the temporary time has passed. In this case, after returning to the office, Nancy will need to go back to her profile, position gear, then workflow and task delegation, then delete the entry by clicking the red X. Conversely, if the workflow and task delegation is to be set on a permanent basis, then once set for a person, it should be left indefinitely. And finally, this feature only delegates or reassigns a workflow and or task once. In other words, if Nancy delegates time off request to Callie, and Callie has delegated time off request to Arista, then requests that would normally be assigned to Nancy will only be delegated or reassigned once to Callie. They will not be reassigned to Arista. And that's the workflow and task delegation feature in BizRun. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.